Welcome to Deep Thoughts. I have consistently talked about the big picture. Now, I'm gonna tell you what. Uh, like I say, if you, if you go through my archives on this channel, I'm always talking about the big picture, the big picture, the big picture. See, in general, in general, people have uh, three way, they, people in groups will look at everything happening in three ways. And I'm gonna use the analogy of reptiles, insects, and birds. And someone who's followed me a long time and kind of know where I'm going, they like, oh, okay, I see what you're doing wrong. But, uh, you know, you have one group, they like reptiles. Reptiles only see their basic area, wherever they're at. They don't see the big picture. They see what's right in front of them, just right in front of them. When you have many people in that level of consciousness, they don't see the big picture. They, 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 they are just like that, the uh, consciousness of a reptile, whereas they might just see what's in their neighborhood. They might see, even if they use social media, uh, because even though you got access to um, a lot of things, you're only seeing what you can relate to because you will look for what your perception can handle. You don't see it. Like if you're in a poor neighborhood, you don't have a concept of people like living in a rich neighborhood or how they would behave or treating each other a certain way or the uh, mannerisms and indeed sometimes even a racial, um, even a racial mannerisms. Yeah, you got TV and everything, but if you in a housing project, uh, a res or a trailer park, and you have a perception of the, of the reptile, you're only gonna see that. Even when presented with something else, you might not be able to handle it. So, and usually when you have people of that nature, they just worried about their own survival. Um, these are maybe not the people who are gonna go vote. These are people who might get involved in petty offenses or um, you know, try to use someone because they're only worried about what's right in front of them eating basics, basics, basics. But then you have another level. That's the level of the insect. Think about ants. Ants move in a, uh, as a group. Bees move as a group. They, you get people, their perspective, they will have partly their own perspective, but also the perspective of a group. Many people are heard. They will follow whatever has been done before them. If you look at their clothing styles or even how they vote, even how they vote, that, seriously. Uh, usually at that level, that's when you get the people who will get into politics, but even then they will follow something. They will follow uh, whatever religion. They won't like, let me use the religion for an example. Um, you only have a small percentage of people who consciously decide on what they're going to follow. Most people follow what's ever in the area, what their family's following, what their friends are following. And that's just one area. It could be politics. It could be social, social norms. Uh, definitely as far as how people dress. But here's the bottom line. Their perception is that of the group. And then if you look at ants, say you have ants in a, a yard, well, they got more, they not only had a perception of a group, but a bigger area. Now, a yard to an ant is huge. That's a whole world. That's a whole world right there. But they still don't see the bigger picture. They just see that yard, and indeed, maybe they don't see the whole block. But then you have the bird. Now, when you have the perception of the bird, think about the bird. The bird can fly for miles. They can fly for several, depending on the bird, several thousand miles. They can go a lot of places. So they can fly over the area inhabited by the reptile, that perception, but then also bigger than a yard. They can see everything better. They can see, they can see everything. So if you equate that to someone living, no matter what neighborhood they live in, they still have a perception of what's outside that neighborhood, whether they're rich or poor. Because actually in some poor areas, you do have some people whose perception is larger. They allow their perception, they even try to make their perception larger. They say, hey, there's more than this. 
they can understand better. And this level's even beyond that, but we'll stick to that level right there. We'll stick to that level. You know, you gotta look at everything holistically. See, seeing the big picture, you're not just seeing what's right in front of you. Okay, say someone is behaving a certain way right in front of you. Now, the person with the uh, reptile consciousness, that's all they're seeing. Okay, how this person messing with me? How they affected me? Whereas the person with the insect consciousness, they looking at, okay, is this person going against the group or for the group? So not just looking at me, how they affected me, but how they affected the bigger group, the bigger region. Now, the person at the higher level seeing the bird who can see, and it's, it's, it's interesting to call it bird brain, <laughs> but you know, it's kind of funny. People who would be called a bird brain, they actually, if you sit down and listen to them, they actually see things at a higher level, but then they'll be called goofy or crazy because the people at the lower level can't see it. But here's the point though, whether you see it as a joke or not, when you at that higher level, and it's not even, it's not about intelligence, it's about perception. You'll see the bigger picture. At that level, okay, you'll see that person maybe bothering you or something. And then you might see how they relate to how the group acts, but then you might look at the bigger picture. Okay, what's causing it? What, what's happening in society? Was this person miseducated? Was this person uh, grew up in an environment? You're looking at everything. What's causing, what's happening in the world? Okay, like for example, Everybody, the big deal now is inflation. Inflation, everything's going up. And you know, of course, uh, many people will blame a single like president for it. Oh yeah, he's biased. No, it was already going up regardless who the president. Presidents, at best, are managers. There's always other forces going on. Businesses are raising their prices. They could keep their prices down. They could keep their prices down. But why are they doing it? Oh, wow. You know, maybe it's because of the supply chain shortage. See, you start looking at other stuff. You know, it's harder to get stuff to people. So, you know, you, so in order to make some money, you got to sell it for more. Because if you if the supply chain was OK, then you have plenty of products to sell. But since it's more like with the meats, yeah, they're going to cost more. They, they go, hey, they spoil after a certain point. You try to make your money. So instead of selling that uh, steaks or something for $10, you know, you might have to sell it for 15 and make sure you make money with what you have. See how that works? So you start looking at what's, what's going on economically. Um, if you saying maybe the price of something might go up, maybe the price of uh, smartphones might go up. Okay. What's happening with like, you get some of the materials and I forgot what that was that goes in the smartphones that you're getting out of, uh, places in Africa. What's happening in that place of Africa that can affect the prices of that cell phone? You know? What's happening? I, you know, uh, there's talk of uh, gold being discovered in Uganda. How's that going to affect how much you're paying for the price of coffee? Hey, it can. You don't know. See, when you look at the big picture, something small in one place can affect something. Let me uh, use an example I like to use. You're in a neighborhood and you got the fast food places, the burger places and everything. They're going out of business. Now somebody, you know, at the lower level say, oh man, I can't go there and eat. And they don't see beyond that. The group level might say, you know what, a group of people ain't going there. Um, you know, well, I don't know what's going on. Somebody at the other level will say, well, hold up. Okay, all these burger places are going out of business or because there's actually a burger place that went out of business down the street from me. Uh, what's going on? What's going on? And I would say like some of the stuff I'm noticing in my neighborhood, like overall, not just my neighborhood, but the overall uh, area I live in. Um, I'm seeing some, you know, some businesses going out, but I'm also seeing some businesses being built, but you're getting a different crowd, a more holistic eating crowd. And okay, let's bring it back to that thing about the burger places going out of business. Um, someone looking at the big picture, they might even like look at something that looks at demographics or something or just talk to some people and say, wait a minute, these people are more into better eating. These people are more vegan. 
Ah, you, because something doesn't happen in a vacuum. So you gotta look at everything, what's going on. Like I use a great example, relationships, male-female relationships. A major factor is that women are making more money. So they're not interacting with men on the same basis. You gotta look at the bigger, okay, what is it? Is it, you know, somebody might look at that and say, oh, wow, these women just acting bad towards me. But then somebody at the next level will say, oh, it's the group. But then somebody at the bigger picture will say, okay, why are they doing that? Oh, wait, they don't have to interact with a guy for money as much. Hmm. That starts changing things. You're looking at everything. You know, it's, uh, you could call it the butterfly effect in many ways. You know, how is this butterfly affecting something else? You know, some people looking at the big picture were looking at how bees were disappearing at some one point. I think they're starting to get back into it, but they were like, well, how does this affect other things? How does this affect the flowers? See, ultimately, everything's holistic. None of us live in a bubble, even if we think we do. As I'm making this video, somebody who's watching it, I don't know what it could affect. Somebody could be like, ah, he full of it, and keep going. That's still affecting them. Somebody could say, you know what, that's something to think about. Let me look into something. They might be, have a question about some matter. Say, oh, let me look at everything else. What, what's, affect, what's possibly affecting this? You know, look at the big picture. You know, because everything touches. We, look, on this planet, on this planet, we're all connected. You like it or not. Like it or not. If, you know, I, I give a I great give a great example. What if uh, you know a bunch of young people say, you know what, we don't want these fancy uh, athletic shoes. We don't want them anymore. We just want to wear sandals. And now somebody would think, oh, okay, that's a change. That could affect people in another country that makes those that makes that uh, stuff. See, everything touches. Every is a ebb and flow. It's an ebb and flow how we move, how we drive. If we drive in a certain way, like if we on a highway, say we, uh, say you driving down a, a road, you driving down a road and there's an accident. How many people does that affect? Some people might not be bothered. Some people might be in a hurry for something. Somebody might be on their way to a job interview. Somebody could be headed towards a job where if they late one more time, they get fired. It affects so much. Shoot, somebody could be driving, trying to get some sex from somebody. <laughs> you know, you know. And, but if they don't get there in time, the woman might be like, like say a guy's driving, he run into that accident. And you say, well, how that affects something? The woman could, he could just tell her, but what if they were on shaky ground and she's, she's like, okay, this is the final straw, I don't believe him. Okay, they don't get together. But if they had got together, they would have had a great relationship, would have had some children, would have had some children. Some people say, well, that's small. Well, you don't know what one of those children, the third child born, might have grew up to be a great spiritual leader, might a great politician, uh, come up with a, uh, major cures that couldn't be suppressed for major diseases. <laughs> see, see, you know, everything touches everything. And I want y'all to think about that, all right? So anyway. That's all I have for now. I want y'all to think about it. Everything touches it, but try to see the big picture. Try to see the big picture. If something happening, something happening somewhere else. I'll use one final example because I worked in the retail industry. I remember, uh, I think it was the last year I was working and it was unusually warm that winter. It was unusually warm. Somebody say, well, how that's affecting something? Well, it affected the business because you had all these winter coats that didn't sell. Now, who does that affect? <laughs> who does that affect? That affects salaries. Stuff not selling, shoot, you might have to lay off people. That you lay that person off, you don't know how that affects their relationship, where they live and other things, or their self-esteem. See, everything will cascade. So you gotta look at everything, every single thing, all right? So anyway, that's all I have. I want y'all to seriously think about this, okay? Always look at the big picture. Get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.